Tommy, what do you think? Speak to <sighs> Easy. You know, I'm kind of moving here on a stool. Right? <laughs> oh, man, come on. You're good, straight in. You're looking beautiful. Come, come on. on. It's not pushing the pedal, it's pushing me back. I don't want to hear no shit, just pull it in. Go to the left. There you go. Is that good? Yeah, that's probably good right there. Uh, <laughs> maybe got a Dukes of Hazard it? You got a punch? Hey, I think I should go up. Right, he won't, not Daisy. Get the fuck out of there. I think you underestimate how much skill I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, let me disconnect my quick disconnect, non quick disconnect steering wheel. Good steering wheel all the way, Tom. Here, hold that. What do you think this is? A fucking race car? Just because you work at a race car company don't it's mean you gotta treat trailer. your fucking 53 Cadillac like hey, that. Hey, it's in a race trailer, you work at a race car company. Close enough. Is that door bungee cord? Yeah. Okay. Time to work in those after, buddy. No, this is a real test of the damn hood. And, or the, the door van. Yeah. Right the door stays on. There needs to be like God. something right here. Uh, right? you're gonna have to put your phone down and jam yourself between the. You should have let me pull it in. You bigger than me, no offense. I don't think so. I popped. I don't know if you'd be climbing through that window. Front to back, why? I could. <laughs> All right, back it out. We gotta try it with pops now. All right. What am I gonna do? Just hold this fucking thing? Fuck that! I'll put it right here. No, don't put it anywhere in here. It's going can, in the front. It can sit right there. Nope. Yep. Nope. Holy crap, I haven't seen my shop this empty in a long time. Boy, is it dirty. There's so much room for activities. Because there ain't no giant yacht, land yacht in here anymore. Land shark. Land shark. Is it finally time to retire the uh, pretzels? What's that? Is it finally time to retire the pretzels? The, the pretzels? Oh, yeah, the car's gone. I guess we can get rid of these pretzels. They've been hanging here since like day one. <laughs> it looks so much more bright. Bigger. Yeah, it did get bigger. Wow. All right, boys. Let's well, let's throw everything back in here and hit the road. Hit the road. The space ain't gonna last too long. We got a Continental coming over in the next couple days, so it'll be jammed right back up. But fortunately, that's just some metal work because the car has been smashed in a couple places that I have to straighten up. And as far as I know right now, that's all that's happening with that one. So uh, that'll be in and out pretty relatively quickly. And then we'll be back to doing motorcycles. And then the other restorations that I'm working on are on different locations. So I'll get my shot back. That was lame. There we go.
That car's not gonna fit in there, are you serious? here it was complete rat, complete mess it had everything rat nest the seat covers the orange seat covers were shreds on the floor it had banners from ford when it was part of their team when it was in france being raced yeah they had been completely turned into confetti and it was everywhere rats had just oh. turned this thing into a mess the dashboard had been eaten it's a padded dash they would eaten it right down to the metal framework so using a 125 diecast model <clears throat> shut up I kid you not, a 125 diecast model looks exactly like this car. And using pictures and magazine clippings and vintage photos and racing footage of these cars racing, we recreated this car exactly the way that it was with very, very little alterations. So was the model built from the car and then the car was built from the model? The model was built after the famous cars that raced. I think, is the camera turning? No. No. <laughs> the screen this, just looked dark. We have a model that looks identical to this. Wheels, everything. That's sweet. It had a wider body kit on it. Mm -hmm. It had <clears throat> a lot different wheels. Everything was built the way it was supposed to be. We have black and white footage. We have color footage. Black and white video clip or magazine clippings, color bat magazine clippings. We know exactly what this car was supposed to be, and that's what we brought it back to. Hmm. Pretty cool. It sounds like an angry, angry, angry jet ski. An angry jet ski. It sounds like a jet ski, but it sounds like a jet ski that's going to snap your neck and leave you laying in the water. Sweet, let's take it out and get some pizza. Yeah. I wish. Let's... Turned into a Shelby by Carol himself. Taken from that, brought to the racetrack. Ooh. From that point forward, never changed. Never became anything else but a race car. It was a roundy round car? No, no. This or is, uh, this autocross? Is, this is road race. Yeah, right. This is Laguna Seca, the, the Can-Am series. Or the Trans-Am series. Trans-Am series, there you go. Trans-Am series. And this guy is bonkers the way he drives. He'll dive into the corner with everybody else. You know, spends all his money on the car, but he'll put it right next to the door to door with everybody else he can. So he spends a crazy amount of money on it and drives it like he stole it. That's awesome. We build the suspension right for him. We make, you know, he, he talks to us. The car feels this way. I'd like to change this. I'd like to make it better. I'd like to do something with it. And that's what he does. He makes it better. We make it better for him, and he makes it better by the way he drives it. Does he put air in the tires? That's been sitting a bit. Yeah. That'd probably help it handle a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> see sitting there huh a built-up version of that okay powering this it was a turbo inline six a turbo inline six huh and it was a swept back manifold so it was a swept back manifold nice and clean straight directly into a turbo about the size of your head damn and it was a test bed they used this car to test that engine what it was supposed to be was this 
which is a cow's worth eight. Pretty cool. Does it feel like fuzzy? Like it's well, it's, it's a ceramic coating. Is that what it is? Yeah. They did a. Full <laughs> shit for yourselves. Oh yeah? Alright, so sitting here waiting for it clear to dry. We got one more coat to go. Talking to Pops about Astro Supremes on his uh, 63, 63 Impala. And Tommy's trying to figure out storage situation. Yeah, it's right upside it down. Right here, what's up there? Oh yeah, we just we just leave it right here. Put an elevator in there and bring it up yep. to the top. Yeah, yeah, we'll just swing it right up up there. Yeah, there you go. That'll be out of the way of the yeah. other employees. Just hang it from the great big beam. Yeah, you can hang it up from the beam. It's just like uh, oh, yeah, those up there. Might work. work. Run a chain through the. I think this building will support a 53 Cadillac hanging from the wall, huh? Yeah. I think we're doing all right. <laughs> well, we're almost done. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll, get that big banana we'll do there. that. I'm gonna and get those doors the there. And that over there. Deck with. And then Sunday we'll have it all put together and it'll be loaded up on a trailer and taken to some storage unit out of my garage. All right. That's Saturday. It's a uh, quarter after nine on Saturday morning. Got to do a quick little run. Go pick up something. And then I'm turning around heading right back to the Cadillac. And we're going to pull the car out and paint the doors. This car's really whipped my ass. I hope this thing turns out nice. That's a lot of fucking car, let me tell you. What the fuck is this guy walking? Jesus Christ. You know, we got fucking sidewalks in this fucking town that don't mean you walk down the side of the fucking road! God, fucking idiots. Anyways, so that's what I'm doing. Got the Cadillac pulled out of the paint booth, sweeping it up, getting it cleaned up. And, uh, we're gonna hang some doors and spray them. Be an exciting day. <laughs> you know when you don't see a car shiny since the day you own it and it now looks like a sorry Robert Duvall streamline butterfly. It's, just, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ain't no fat tricks to be streamlined, but okay. Huh? Ain't no fat tricks to be streamlined, but alright. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs>
end of it. This car is all put together and it's done. Do you want it? Done. Tommy? Yeah? What do you think? <laughs> Gorgeous. Like a black diamond. Like a black diamond. Like a black diamond. And with that, we're out.